Hello, everybody, and welcome to Northwind, the roguelike deck builder monster hunter game. I'm Heron Steinbear. Let's jump right into it and start hunting some monsters. You know, we're going to be playing as the duelist, gain one mana every turn. Uh, so I don't know much about this game. I saw it on Steam and immediately loved the artwork. Uh, I thought the characters looked super cool. The, the duelist is a master of the sword and strength. His swordsmanship can be adopted by everyone, but only a few can master it. All right, well, let's see if we can master it. Start in the tutorial. Battle start. We got, what the fuck is that? Injured Gallus. Defeat enemies by playing cards from your hand. To play cards, you need mana. Mana can be obtained from relics and energy cards. Pretty standard. Energy stone relic gives you one mana every turn. Makes sense. You just drawn five focus cards, each giving you one mana. So we have six total. Perfect. Injured Gallus is about to attack you with four power. As you can see, it's attack power as shown below. Makes sense. Uh, maybe it's two attacks. Build up your own attack power by playing action cards to withstand the attack. Cards display their cost and attack power as shown below. Okay. Having more attack power than your opponent will deal damage to them. Playing two basic attack cards and one focus card to build up your attack power to 10. All right. So I will... Do I have to target? Yeah, okay. Or, oh, I see. That's what the two is there. All right. So there we go. And then a focus card on... On him? Okay. Oh, because it adds two attack. So focus also has attack. But it looks like it gives me mana just from being drawn. As a result, you would, as a result, you would deal six damage to this opponent when you end your turn. Makes sense. Ten minus four. Okay, end my turn. Slap. Ooh, that Gallus did not look good. When there are no cards left to draw, your discard pile is shuffled back into your draw pile. Pretty standard. Again, we're up to seven now. Okay, so that continues giving us more, or we didn't lose any. Choose your current level. Spend five mana to level up your mercenary. Hmm, interesting. End this tutorial by defeating the opponent. Okay, so spent five. I don't know if that actually was beneficial. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh, wait, so we leveled up. So now we have six attack per. I get it. I get it. All right. Yeah, I mean, we'll just do that. Uh, we don't have any more mana, so yeah, I can't uh, do that. But the fight will go. We'll deal five damage. I might have been able to finish if I hadn't bothered leveling up. Okay, cool. I'm up to six this time. I mean, I could just do that, and he's dead. Goodbye, Gallus. Monster down. Add one leather gloves to your deck. Okay, gain two strength, which gives you increased one power per stack. Interesting. All right. Jumping in to our next monster fight here. Another injured Gallus. Opponents can defend. They withstand your attacks, but will not deal damage back. It's a good opportunity for you to save your mana for leveling up. Your mana does not reset to zero, but when you end the turn in this game, press the end turn button. Okay, ending turn, you defend. You've already saved five mana, click on the plus button to level up. There we go. Leveling up is key to becoming stronger. It provides two benefits. All of your action cards will have more power. Yep, we saw that. And you can equip equipment cards that require level. Okay, cool. You've drawn an equipment card called Leather Gloves. You're at level two. Let's equip it now. Bam. We equipped it. Two strength for the rest of the battle. In this tutorial by defeating the opponent. All right. So we have five mana. There we go. Eight. Fourteen. Uh, so we're going to do two. You can also do there. There. Fuck it. There we go. He dead. Minus 11. We're going to fuck this Gallus up. Dead Gallus, more like. Add one mindfulness to your deck. It's a skill, rarity common. Lose mana per stack at turn end. Uh, the drain. That's what drain does. So we gain two mana like right away. 
All right, jumping in. We got a monster fight to our first full run. Good mana there, but we are not leveled up. Uh, he's going to do five to us, so we can do four, five. We'll just do one more, and then I'll end the turn. Because uh, then we know we're doing damage to him, but then we save some of our mana so he can build it up. Ooh, okay. There's six. If I give us that, it gives us drain two. So I need to spend all this mana. So we're going to spend five, equip our leather gloves, then do that. That puts it at eight. I can then do that, and that kills. Cool. Might as well overkill. Bam! Dead Gallus again. Collect your rewards. 15 gold, a duelist card, four strength this turn, and draw one or dual wielding. When this card is played, add power of adjacent cards. Hmm, okay. It's two mana. This is only one, uh, but it's only that for this turn. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do the warm up. I think that's probably a good card. And then we get to pick a reward here. Another focus or five more gold. Too much focus may cause your deck to clutter. Yeah, I'm, I am worried about that. So I will take the gold there. I think that's probably the best call. Um, we have an elite fight down here. Screw it. We'll do the elite fight. The graveyard. You encounter an undead creature. There is a treasure in this graveyard. You can take whatever you find. The creature then hands you a shovel. Uh, I guess we'll dig in the center. The frozen soil crumbles under your shovel, revealing a gift from the departed. See 16 bone. I just got boned, guys. And I'm not mad about it. Crimson Fowl. Interesting. All right. Uh, it costs five to level up. He's doing 16 block. So I think this is one of those turns where we just end and let him be him. Let that Crimson Fowl uh, mind his own business there for a bit. And we can go ahead and level up. And honestly, he's just blocking again. So we'll just kind of hang out here. Got bone up here. Can be spent to smelt and forge cards as a blacksmith in Northwind Town. Okay. Good to know. Ooh, now he's attacking. Yeah, so I'm glad I did that. So I can do mindfulness. Give me two more mana. Play that. Do a warm up. Now we're at six strength. And then there, that's 12, 18. There we go. Now we got it flipped into our advantage. Can we just close out everything? There we go. Yeah, and we still got three mana left for next turn. Big ol' seven damage. What you gonna do, Crimson Foul? You gonna defend again? Yeah, I figured. All right. Uh, I think still think we can kind of start stacking here. There we go. And should do one more. Because I need, I want to try and get him down before he attacks again. I don't know if his attack goes up at all. Uh, ooh, but we got our warm up back. There we go. Mindfulness. Give me that seven mana. And then give us a warm up. And this Crimson Foul is dead as hell now. There we go. 27 minus 11 damage. You gone, Crimson Foul. It's Whack. All right, 13 gold, a faction card, and a focus to my deck. Uh, ooh, okay. The art is so cool. I love the art on these cards. This is amazing. This is great. Um, thanks to the dev, by the way, for giving me a heads up on the demo being out, because this, this game is right up my alley. All right, preparation. Gain three strength for two turns. It also is an attack. So it looks like it will do damage. Uppercut, uppercut. When overwhelm, apply one weakened. Have higher power than the opponent this turn. 
Okay. Um. Move from play after next turn. Apply a weekend. So this is setting up for the pr following turn. I do kind of like the idea of, but of uppercut, uh, but it's more expensive. But still, I mean, yeah, we'll go with it. Uh, and I will take another. F well, wasn't really hurting for mana that last round, so I will take more gold. We may need to take mana again, but for now we haven't been hurting for it. This is an elite fight, so we're going to see what these are. Some monsters have rampage counter. When conditions are met, it gains a charge. When full, it uses its ultimate. Hover your mouse over the rampage to see information. Uh, let's see. The Hound Master. Uh, it doesn't actually say what its rampage is. Interesting. Okay. So we can do that, uh, and then two of these. So we don't take any damage from the hound. And then we can save up a little bit of mana. Rampage trigger, uh-oh. Monsters with the tornado skill token will use their skill at the end of the turn. Hover over it with your mouse to see the effect. Summon one minion. Okay. All right. That's not too bad then. Uh, so I can do mindfulness and then warm up. You're not attacking me, so that's okay. <clears throat> so we can do a bunch of damage to the hound here. And... You gained the Overwhelm token. It indicates the effect to happen if you have higher attack power this turn. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, so I will do that. And that. So now the effect should happen. Uh, so I have three, three mana there. I may go ahead and end my turn there. Save that mana. Uh, especially because you're going to get weakened this next turn. Although now there are two wolves here, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. We can't do the equipment. You're only at six, but you're at eight. Fuck. Okay. Uh, so four and five. That gets us in the positive with you, and you're being overwhelmed. Uh, oh, wait. That just keeps happening for the whole rest of the rest of the match. That's pretty cool. Two, four, and uh, six. All right, cool, cool. Not ideal, uh, but we are doing damage. Unfortunately, his trigger is going to keep happening, right? Yeah, he's going to keep summoning more bitches, and I don't want him to summon more bitches. Especially because these guys are not going to have uh, no strength forever. All right. Uh, you there. You there. I'm going to have to take some damage at some point, right? Oh, damn it. Not quite enough to kill that guy. And then he's going to summon a third hound. Oof, I should not have taken on an elite fight yet, I don't think. I do not think I was ready for an elite fight. Okay. Oh, he couldn't summon one because there's two there already. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, oh, that is doing 13 damage, though. Oh, my God. All right. Uh... Grab that mana. Definitely need that. Four, six, six, oh, four and four, eight, ten, twelve. I can just kill that guy, but then I'm going to take ten points of damage. And he's doing thirteen also. Fuck me. Oh, I should not have taken on this elite so early. I did not know what I was doing, getting myself into. Well, at least I can kill one of these hounds. Oh, 
Oh, I'm gonna take so much damage. All right, one hound down. 23 points of damage I take still though. That sucks. Oh, and I only have three mana to work with this turn too. Damn, that's rough. All right, is that can may I may just honestly just restart this run, because uh, I do not see a way out of this. Even if I like pump everything I got into the Houndmaster over there, yeah, I mean we're nowhere near doing damage. It's gonna take twelve this turn if he attacks again. Plus he's gonna have more. Uh, let's abandon this run and uh, start a new one. Now that we have a little bit more information on what's actually going on and know not to challenge a two random starting hand. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so no elites right at the beginning, at least until we get some extra stuff going on because there was no fucking chance. I think if I challenge that guy again, I'm just going to uh, rush him. Hello everybody and thank you so much for watching the video today. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers and we're getting closer every day. We can't do it without your help. If you'd like to help the channel more directly, you can join a YouTube membership by clicking the link in the description, getting access to the member exclusive discord, early access to videos, and a shout out in every video like Jacob Burns. Thank you so much, Jacob, for your continued support. I'll let you get back to the video and I hope you're all having a great rest of your day. See ya. Rather than, oh, no, no, no. Take that one and that one so we can save up our mana. We also need to make sure we can level up. That was the other thing I messed up. I didn't level up early when we had the extra mana and uh, it got us in trouble later on. Skip two energy cards. Okay. Bone Crush, when overwhelm, apply three injury, which reduces power per stack. Stack increases by one when taking damage, reduces by one at turn end. Okay, good to know, good to know. Uh, so I could do that and that evens it out. Uh, and then I could do, skip two energy cards, that's okay. I do have five mana, so honestly, I think I can just kill, yeah. There we go. Easy fight, easy fight. We'll grab all this a faction card and a focus. I think maybe we do need to take the focus. That probably was a little bit of an issue last time. Clearly need a bit more uh, mana than we were getting. So we'll head up this time. The waterfall, you discover an old magic hammer by the waterfall, capable of fusing cards together. It's on the verge of breaking, but should suffice for one last use, though it might cause a minor explosion. Uh, merge two basic uh, 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 two basic attacks and get minus nine max health. What does that do to him? Basic attack. Basic attack. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smelt that shit. Good to go. Hell yeah. Okay, we got double Gallus this time. But that's okay. Uh, with two mana, I can easily do that. Throw that out. Throw that out just so we don't take any damage there. Going to end the turn and save that two mana. Big ol' smacks. Double smack. All right. Let's get crushing bones. Okay, so we can play you there. That gets us out of that damage. Play you there. We just need to do three more easy. There we go. Uh, and then I think may as well play mindfulness. And do a little bit more damage this turn. In turn, we will lose two mana still, so we'll be down to one. That's okay. That's all right. We got mindfulness again. Perfect. Monsters overwhelm. Indicate the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know that already. 
Okay. Uh, yes, go away. I understand. Hover, hovering over the effect. Who cool. Okay, there we go. It was all disguised by the by the text up there. Okay, so discard some more mana, but we got three damage there. Get mindfulness again. Then we can get big damage on that guy that kills. Enough on that guy to kill. Easy. Easy fight. No damage. Beautiful. 13 gold, 10 monster bones, a faction card, and a focus. Strafing. Inflict four damage twice. Immediately deal damage to an opponent's HP. Uh, that is, they're all two. Uh, add power for each mana you gain this turn. Interesting. I think that sounds pretty good. I will take a focus as well. Uh, but I need to be uh, careful that I don't take too many focuses, like it said. But early on, it seems like a good call. Uh, or at least until I got this turn. We'll go with that. Discard a couple. Uh, and then we'll go with that to get us two more. And that lets us play some of those. And I will go ahead and level up with it. You know what? So I don't lose it. Might as well just spend it now. There we go. Big hit for seven damage against the Serpent Soldier. We are now level two. And oh, we only got two mana though. Uh, but that's okay. We can do Strafing, which inflicts four twice and then still does 11. And then Insightfulness, which should win us the match because it's a free, free card. Yeah. Beautiful. Serpent Soldier is down. All right, picking another Duelist card. Or Slash seems good, especially since it's got Inflict. Inflict is great. Uh, I don't think I'm going to take the focus this time. I'm going to go for the coins. The coinage. All right, can we slide? Yeah, we can slide. Okay. Uh, so we'll definitely... I mean, obviously, we're hitting up this location. Cave Ghoul. Man, like I said, the art in this is so badass. I love all of this art. Uh, probably go for mindfulness and then definitely start out with the basic attack, the good one, and do... Honestly, I feel like I go for the strafing as well because then we get the, the 8 damage on them plus the 11 for strafing. There we go. Big damage. And we got a decent amount of uh, mana this turn. So we can do that. That inflicts. And then insightfulness. We're going to lose some mana. That's okay. And then bone crushed. Does that put us where we need to be? It does. Finishing him off easily. Still at full health. Much easier when we don't take on an elite way before already. 16 gold. 15 monster scales. I'm not sure what those are. Spent to enhance cards of the alchemist. Okay. One faction card, a focus, and then we get a perk this time. Oh, Bloodlust looks fucking sick. When you inflict the enemy, reduces card's cost by one. Ooh, we, re we inflict a bunch. Fuck yes. Uh, let's just look at the other ones, though. Power Surge, choose one action card, add 10 power and one cost to it this battle. Or empower when play a card with Overwhelm. Add six power to this card. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, both of those are good, but Bloodlust, look at those damage numbers. Definitely doing that. Taking another gold. This is a perk. It can be used once per battle. This per The perk stays with you for the entire run unless you discard it. Okay, get a Lion's Roar. Good to know. Rawr. Uh, treasure chest or campsite. I don't think we need to heal, but this is an elite. Uh, all right, we'll try it. We'll try it. All right, don't judge me if I lose again. You discover a treasure chest half buried in the snow. And receive Boar Hall. Draw one card and discard one card. Okay, so it looks like we can have up to three up here. Another monster. Let's see, what do we got? A Screamer. Ooh, that seems scary. Uh, only three mana to start with, but that's okay. We did get Mindfulness. They're doing 10 attack right off the bat. 
So I think what I want to do is throw some insightfulness since it's free. And then we can go with, um, you know, since we can use it once per battle, I want to go ahead and get rid of that and discard basic attack. And then if I gain two strength this turn, that will help my strafing, which means we got to inflict. And then my uh, action, or I'll play action for my basic attack, my good one, doing 75 damage this turn. And we have Overwhelm on. Beautiful. All right, four mana. Uh, okay, so looks like this only counts if you inflict on the same turn. But I believe we can do that because we have Screamer there that inflicted, making this only a two cost and giving us enough oh we do not have enough but we do have bone crush so there we go that should kill it does slash you're done get out of here ghoul ghoul home uh 15 gold one faction card one focus and another perk okay uh i think mindfulness is probably a good way to go here and uh, where can we see our deck here? We have currently four, seven focus cards. Um, sure, I'll take one more. Put one exchange into your hand. What is exchange? Switch two cards in your hand and it's fleeting. I'm not sure what fleeting means. I'm assuming Maybe if you don't use it, it goes away. Sure, I mean, I'll take it. All right, and here we go. The elite fight. Oh, God. Oh, and it's the Hound Master again. This son of a bitch. All right, that's okay. We got mindfulness this time. I'm going to take a little bit of damage, but that's okay. We're going to do that. Inflict on you, which means bloodlust only costs two. Doing some good damage to you there. And then we can do insightfulness. It's free, so that doesn't cost us anything. Gets us up to 24. Now we're doing damage to you. And then bone crushed. So you take some injury. And I think with that, we'll go ahead and end our turn. I am going to take eight from the wolf. That's okay. I think we got we to gotta make sure we're doing damage to the hound master. Uh, what does the injury do again? I don't remember. Reduce power per stack. So it's three less power than he would have had. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Got another mindfulness. We can do that. And then strafe. Eight damage right there. And then another 11. He's only got four. That evens it up. And shit, man. It's not much damage, but it's a little bit. We are going to take another 13 from the Hound. I don't love that, but I also don't love letting this Hound Master stay alive forever. He's just going to keep summoning these freaking Hounds. He's only got nine health now, though. Uh, is he going to attack this turn? He is going to attack this turn. All right. Thankfully, we got another Mindfulness and Bone Crushed. He's only got six now, and then Strafing... Honestly, that should be enough to kill him. Okay, it is. Uh, now, hopefully I can kind of... Uh, oh, I should have done that, honestly. And then... Exchange. I don't know what that does. Switch two cards in your hand. Uh, draw one. Ooh. Discard. Oh, that doesn't really do much for me. All right. So, yeah, I take six there, but I do kill the Hound Master, which I hope pulls me out of the fight. No. Okay. So, I still got to kill the Hounds. Uh, good to know. Good to know. All right, uh, Bloodlust is three, and I don't have any way to inflict, so I can't lower its cost. 
This is 11. That gets me at least in the positive. That's four and six. Man, this Houndmaster sucks. I don't know what the exchange does. And honestly, I need to be... Oh, wait, I can't play them anymore. I can do it once per combat, right? Yeah, so they're done. Okay, all right. Um, there's six damage. Brings it to eight. And then... Uh, yeah, okay. So... If I do this here, I can stop that 13 damage. I feel like that's what I got to stop more, right? And then that goes there. That finishes him off. I am going to take another eight. I don't love that, but I don't have the mana to play anything else. Brings me down to 12. That hound is dead. Final hound here. Doing 10 attack. We got a good hand this time. Should have plenty of mana to do what we need to do. Crush those bones. And basic attack. Enough to kill him. There we go. Okay. Hopefully we can heal a little bit before the boss. Because we're down to 12. And I don't love that. Alright. Ambush. When played against an enemy with injure, add 4 power. Interesting. Organize. Gain 4 control. Stack reduces by one at end of turn. Draw one and gain two control. Uh, I don't. I still don't know what the exchange does. I think we'll go with the ambush because we do have cards that can uh, inflict injure. Combat start. You're level two, but you need 11 mana to level up. Ooh, that's really cool. Or bone knuckle. After you shuffle your discard pile and your draw pile, add six power to your next action card. I think I'm going to start just at level two, right? That seems great. Oh, and thank God there's a campsite. Uh, definitely want to restore HP. Ooh, okay. On to the boss. Only have 27 HP. Oh, and that's a lot of health. Frostfang, he's got four on his rampage counter. Uh, and I got no way to injure him this turn. But we can get ourselves some mana. And we are... There we go. Three damage to him. Uh, and... May as well ambush as well. What is this? I'm, I'm, I'm still curious what exchange does. I don't, I don't understand it. I really, really don't. Uh, I'm going to, in turn, I don't need the strength now, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to use it when I don't need it. There we go. We got some damage on him. Uh, he's going to cut. Adjacent cards become wounded except for the curse card and fade. Interesting. Okay. I'm assuming that's when... Oh, no. When fully charged, overwhelm, apply weaken one. All right. Well, we can mindfulness again. Get ourselves some more mana. Do that for free. Crush some bones. Make them injured. And then we got a big boy attack to do 14 damage. Uh, and he is... That will be overwhelmed for him. So he will become injured. Bam. Fuck off. Oh, he put that in my deck. I understand. Okay. Uh, and that's it there, right? Jason cards become wounded except for the curse card. And fade is removed after play until battle end. So if I play it, I can get rid of it and not have to worry about it. Otherwise, uh, wounded cannot be played from your hand. What? All right. Well, do this. That inflicts on you. And then I can play Bloodlust to get me, keep me from taking damage here. Unfortunately, I don't have any mana to play Cut. So we have to stick with that in our deck. Oh, 34 defense. 
this is probably the one where we want to save our mana, right? Since he's defending, we're not going to be able to get past that anyway. Yeah, okay. We just end the turn there. Injure minus one. His rampage counter is full, so he's going to try and weaken me. Uh, this will add four power. That's great because he is still injured. So, yeah, we'll play that against him. It's 11. We will injure again. Gets us up to 17 and then big old basic attack. And two of these get us out of this turn without being overwhelmed. You are the one overwhelmed, sir. Werewolf bitch. There we go. Oh, but the cut is here. Uh, we're going to take 17 if we don't do anything. Don't love that. Uh, but that's okay. We can use our mindfulness this turn. Uh, so we can cut ourselves and then let's see that'd be three four so yeah we will ambush we will be insightful and then i will inflict and inflict again ha 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 there we go 24 damage to you freaking werewolf get out of here man Get out of here. Nine injury. So he's got minus nine power. Keep that in mind. So he would normally be doing 30 damage to us with this next attack coming up. That is insane. Okay, so if I play this, I can get mindfulness. If I play this, I can play mindfulness. Uh, it doesn't hurt me. So yeah. There we go. And then that way I can do bloodlust and my big attack <clears throat> so we don't take any damage here and he takes 11 more bring him down to 22 let's go hell yes all right up to four mana oh he's only doing six this time getting a little sleepy there friend getting a little sleepy there buddy six another six Okay, so he's going to have 10 after this. I could get him down another 6, but uh, you know what? Let's try and do our strength here. Uh, so then he'll have 8, and then we can do the boar hall. Discard that. Uh, sure, get us a little bit more mana. And then we can do all of these, and I think this should get us out of the fight, right? There we go. 23 more damage will kill him. There it is. Yeah, we killed the werewolf. Let's go. 30 gold, 15 monster skills, a faction card, a focus, a relic, and a perk. What? All right. Looks like these are boss cards. So we have a level one equipment. Uh, we are never level one. But I'm assuming you can still do it. Uh, when unequipped, morph into Berserker Slash. Or Murph into Berserker armor. Okay. Uh, when equipped, gain four armor. Interesting. Solar Eclipse. That art looks so sick. Add two power for each other card with Overwhelm in your deck. When Overwhelm, apply one weakened. Or mimic adjacent cards except for Adapt. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I like the idea of this. This could be good. I've had a bunch of overwhelmed stuff, but I think I'll go with the Berserker armor and the money. And then we get a new relic. Gain one furious when damage gains strength this battle. Or when you level up, draw two additional cards. Do I level up with this? Yeah, so this isn't actually level up. So I think we go with Living Heart. I have a feeling Oxbone and Ancient Board Game don't work together well. Elk Grace. Gain one mana. Ooh, that's probably better than the whatever that thing is. Yes. Yes, yes. Confirm. 
Northwind Settlement. Let's head in there. Welcome to the Northwind Town. Check out these shops. They offer you unique upgrades. When you're done, click on the well to continue your adventure. Okay, all right, cool, cool. Uh, so let's check out the Alchemist. Uh, initiate will be in your opening hand when battles start. I don't know what that means. Uh, prevent fade one time during each battle. Okay, interesting. Uh, or Amethyst, cost plus one, double its base power. This ability doesn't stack. I don't know what that does, though. Oh, I see. That's These are probably modifiers. These are modifiers for cards. Okay. So, like, I could put this on one, and it would make sure I had it in my opening hand. Uh, likewise with the Amethyst. Put it, it would give it cost plus one, but then double its base power. So, like, if I put it on this, then this becomes worth... Holy shit. Yeah, granted, it's four mana. But holy shit. Yes, please. Uh, I'm good with that. Uh, Blacksmith, what do you got for me? Merge two basic or two similar mercenary cards together or create an exact copy of a card you own. Uh, so like if I did that, it cost me 25 bones. Uh, I think I would prefer, oh, I think I would prefer to do, uh, like this one. Yeah. Because then I can more reliably, what's in here? Ooh, this goes for gold. Okay. So these are relics and perks. Uh, skip three cards, put one of them into your hand. Or turtle plate gain for armor. Bone knuckle I saw before. Dull scissor gain two strength as long as you have three or fewer cards in your hand. Okay. Uh, you know what? I am going to buy the dull scissors because I don't see any reason not to. But I'm going to stick with what I have on the rest of that. And now that I see... Um, hmm... Hmm. What happens if I put two of these together? This card is drawn gain two mana. Oh, that's too expensive for my blood. Uh, okay, close that. Go back. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another one of... Uh, I'm assuming that... Oh, that costs 12. But it's a two mana cost. So what I want to do is I want to do... Another four slash. Uh, because like I said, the more of those I have, the more chance I have to inflict. We'll continue our adventure. Take on this monster. The more chance we have to inflict, the more chance we have to play Bloodlust. Because it'll re reduce the cost. Uh, hello? I hear music. I don't see nothing. Uh-oh. What happened? Hello? All right, we are back in it. Uh, the game crashed, I think. The screen just went completely black uh, when I clicked on the monster here. So let's see if it does it again. No, okay, we're good this time. Uh, this is still a demo. Again, it says right over the top, not indicative of final quality. I don't, you know, no, no judgment against the devs here. I don't think that, uh, I don't think that means that they are, uh, that anything's messed up by any means. 
Let's draw a card. Oh, we do get our Berserker armor, so we can then discard Focus. Uh, equip that on ourselves, giving us a little bit of armor there. And then I can do a Force Slash. And may as well do another. Hmm. Oh, that still wouldn't kill, though. I guess I could kill with with by using the rest of my mana. And I think I did use Mindfulness anyway. Yeah, so I'm going to lose it. Lose that mana anyway. Might as well spend it all to kill that weird-looking mosquito thing. And the Frost Rock is here. He's still just blocking. Uh, but I'm worried that he's going to fucking go off soon. Um, Got to do 13, though. That's not going to be very practical. 6, 9, 12. Yeah, okay. I could do it. 1. So just one more. There we go. Save those two mana. And I did overwhelm him, so now he's injured. Losing him a little bit of power. Ooh. Or slash. Now this becomes only three. And we do fucking 35 points of damage to the rock let's go in turn i probably i i could have done strafing too and made it worth uh, made it cost only two done even more damage to him got some gold some bone another relic uh i don't need more bloodlust i think i'm good there um You know, I think I may actually just skip that one. Grab some gold. And... Grab a shining stone to get a little bit more mana at the beginning. All right, so let's go with the events. Let's, we haven't checked out many events yet. You cross paths with a merchant. He offers a random card for a mere 15 gold. Will you take it? Hmm... Sure, I'll take it. All right, so either cloak, draw one more card each turn. That's a level three ability. Probably not going to get to that very often. Uh, add three power for each equipped equipment. We don't use a ton of equipment or heavy blow. Add power equal to all cards cost in your hand times two. Hmm. I do like the idea of that, especially because we have bloodlust. You see a tombstone. It's inscription reading, in order to learn, one must be willing to unlearn. Uh, so we can either meditate to receive unlearn, remove this card and one card in your hand permanently, or detach, fade this card and one card in your hand. I don't really want either of them, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm assuming if I had a curse, unlearn would be awesome. Um... Because I heard it talking about curses. You know, I could use it to get rid of one of the, like, basic attacks. Probably not a bad call. It is uh, card removal, which is pretty good in these situations. Cleave X leftmost card positions in your hand are wounded. Fuck off. Damn it. That sucks. Okay, well, we can still do this. Do that, and then big ol' hit. All right, so you got minus 16 there. Bringing you down considerably. Uh, doing 24 this turn. I don't love that. So we'll have to do that. Inflict twice. And then force slash, inflict again. Ooh, and just enough man mana to... Uh, Keep us from taking any damage this turn. Bam. All right. Agitated Rex. What do you got for us this time? You're going to be blocking. Thank you for that. That means I can just go ahead and end my turn. And save up a little bit of mana. There we go. All right. Uh... I do have a basic attack here. 
So I could unlearn. If I do heavy blow first, that's probably better. Heavy blow, and then I unlearn my basic attack. So those two are gone forever now. And then I can ambush to get a little bit more damage. Leaving that creature, the agitated Rex, with only six health left. And this should kill it before damage even resolves. Another perk. Uh, yeah, more Force Slash. Force Slash is really good. More gold is great. Uh, Turtle Plate, I didn't buy it earlier when it was offered to me. Uh, and I still think I'm going to skip it, to be honest. I kind of like the ones I have. I like the card draw. I like the, the chance for mana. Okay, one more monster fight. Not an elite, so we should hopefully be able to take it a... Uh, X rightmost card position become ensnared. What is ensnared? Will not be discarded at turn end. I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah, I'm super duper okay with that. All right, so... I mean, I can just do this and get myself out of taking any damage here. And then go insightful and do a little bit more damage. And since you're not gonna make me discard four slash, I'll have it for next turn. Thank you for that. It was very kind of you. Mindfulness. And then I'll do Elk Grace. And I'll also do the Boar. Yeah, okay. Uh, basic attack can get rid of that. Do another Mindfulness that gets me up to seven. That's enough to play everything. Throw the Lion's Roar out there. Why not? Basic attack, four slash, inflicts, four slash again, inflicts again, inflict number three, and finally just to just to rub salt in the wounds, we ambush him. That is a dead bug. Throwing knives when equipment is equipped, inflicts six damage to all enemies. Interesting. I'm assuming that's only if this is already equipped. Uh, mirror, create one copy of a card in the discard pile. Okay, or sword mastery. Uh, choose one action card, add power equal to its cost times four. I mean, that could be a lot. Because I have some expensive cards in there. Do the gold. All right, skip three cards, put one of them into your hand. Yeah, we're gonna skip that one as well. We had the opportunity to buy that one too. We're at full health, so I guess we go fishing. Uh, with anticipation, you cast your line into the icy depths. As you reel it in, you find a reward clinging to the hook. Bone dumbbell, gain one strength this turn and one armor when you play a skill card. Fuck yeah, that sounds awesome. Taking on the boss, act two boss. Uh, another were frost fangs. Uh, this is a werewolf, but much colder. Okay. Uh, heavy blow seems like a good call. Definitely want to do that. Um, yeah, because I mean, that's going to be 14 for two. I think I do heavy blow and then force slash because he's not injured yet. Uh, alternatively, I could go or hall. Discard that play sword mastery. That one. And then attack him with that. Why is that only seven? I thought it should have been times four. Anyway, whatever. Whatever. That keeps us from taking damage. That's all that matters at this point. All that matters at this point. Okay. Uh, so he's going to be doing 30 to us this time. So we really need to really need to exploit some stuff here. Probably going to gain that strength there. Let's do that. 
another nine there. Then another six. And that'll overwhelm him, which should injure him. Beautiful. Oh, he added cards to our deck, you bitch. Oh, hoo, 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 but he's in trouble now. Uh, we can do mindfulness. And then force slash. And force slash again. And then strafing, which will then make bloodlust free. Oh, so what's that? 34 damage for free. No mana cost on that one. Ending turn, dealing 29 damage to the boss and increasing his injure. Fuck yes. All right, what is this going to be? Overwhelm, inflict four for each cut in your deck. Okay. Uh, he put a bunch of cuts in our deck. Add one, choose one action card, add power equal to its cost times four. Yeah, I thought, I thought it did that. But maybe not. Uh, okay. So I am going to play that cut to get it out of my freaking deck. This is a rough turn. We're going to take 18 big old points of damage. Um, I guess I definitely play you and then you and then attack with you. It gave me plus seven. So, oh, it added it to this card. I see. I understand now. Okay. Give me that, and then let me play you. That gets me out of taking damage. I am going to lose two mana, though, so I feel like I should go ahead and uh, play out the rest of my cards since I'm not going to have that mana. Anyway, Rampage is triggered. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. For each cut I have... How many cuts do I have at the moment? Do they show in here? I guess not. Probably have to look in here. One, two. Is there one in here? Okay, so only two. Only two. So that's going to be eight damage. That's not too bad. It's not bad at all, actually. Um... I really don't think I can overwhelm him. Let's see. I could do eight, 19, 25, and seven is 32. 38 plus seven is 45. 52 plus four is 56. Oh, God. And that would be five. I'd have to spend my elk grace. Um, Damn. I don't have any strength this turn. Yeah, I would be too short on him. Mm. And it, which would mean he would still overwhelm me. He wouldn't take any damage. And I would use all of my mana. I think I'm just going to end in the turn. Keep the mana. Build up. Get ready for next turn. Uh, oh, I didn't have any cuts in my hand. So I guess it didn't matter. If he overwhelms me this time, he's going to spawn some cuts. Uh, but I can go ahead and play out that one. And then force slash the some bitch. Bam. That gets me where I need to play Bloodlust. Doing damage now. And crush some bones since he is injured. There we go. Another injury. And I was not overwhelmed, so I didn't get any more cuts. Love that. All right, we're up to four mana. Play that cut. Get rid of it. He's going to do 32 points of damage to me this turn. That's not cool. Let's go ahead and try and keep that from happening. We'll play Insightful. Get that number up. And then this. Is that enough? Yeah, there we go. Two damage back at him. Only one mana left, but that's okay. Uh, stacking those injuries up. That's huge. 
Uh, so he would be doing 27 normally if we didn't have that injury. All right. Uh, two mana. That sucks, but we do have two mindfulnesses here. I guess it's another four. We can play four slash, which then brings bloodlust cheaper, and then strafing, which also brings bloodlust considerably cheaper. Bam. And then because they're injured, uh, ambush will be huge. There we go, doing 54 points of damage. Fuck yes. Fuck you, Frostfang. Oh, adding more cuts, you bitch. All right. Uh, I think I will go ahead and play Sword Mastery. Boop, boop. And then attack you with it. And then I can do Force Slash, which does a wound or inflicts and then adds more. There we go. And Bone Crush. There we go. More injury coming at you. You're going to be down to three health, you stupid dog. Stupid Ice Wolf. Okay, we got cut in our deck, but that's okay. I don't... Well, I guess it does kind of matter. Uh, all right, I'll go ahead and play it. You know what? It's not worth it. Uh, five. If I use all of this, three, six, nine, 15, 22, plus six, 28. Yeah, I'm not going to take him out. He's only defending. We're just going to save our mana this turn. Hold on to it for this next turn. We do... I guess we did take a little bit of damage. So we had a cut, uh, but I think just this uh, heavy blow should be able to finish him off. Yeah, nice. I guess I could have just inflict him dead, but cooler that way. Oh, demo completed. No, I want more. What is this? Oh man, this game was such a blast. I am, this is awesome. I really enjoyed this game. Hopefully you enjoyed it as well. Broach. Drain status does not affect you. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button. If you enjoy content like this, go ahead and subscribe. I put out a new video. Oh, there's a un whole unlock thing. What is this? Uh, heavy attack blueprint. You can smelt a basic attack card with a focus attack card to create heavy. Oh my God. You can combine cards to make new cards, not just better versions of the same cards. Uh, the merchants have an additional version. Yeah, unlock. Uh, expanded gym stock. What is this? More, more attacks, quick attack. Oh my God, there's so much to this game. This is awesome. Uh, can I afford any of these? I can't afford, well, I can't afford that one. Alchemist expanded shop, expanded shop or antique shop expanded stock. Uh, I think we'll go with the heavy attack. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this game. If you did, please hit that like button. If you enjoy content like this, go ahead and subscribe. I put on a new video every single day, so there's always something to watch. If you have any comments on this game or any other games you'd like to see me try, please let me know. I always love to hear from you guys in the comments. It means the world to me. And if you want to interact further with the Herrenstein Bear community, you can click the link down in the description to get access to our member exclusive discord early access to every video i post and of course a shout out in every single video like jacob burns thank you so much jacob for your continued support you're awesome to everyone else who's been liking watching commenting and subscribing you're amazing as well so thank you and until next time i hope you all have a great rest of your day and i'll see you then bye